How did you wish to cook the tenderloin? Medium rare, hopefully. Very nice. The beets, you have respected and elevated their flavors. Seasoned well, but we have a problem here. The battle for 12 white aprons continues, and two home cooks have already been tapped and sent home. It was hard to send Oyak home, but the rice was way overcooked. I had to tap out Dawn because she was making a blueberry grunt, and I just felt it was too simple for the MasterChef Canada kitchen. In the tap-out world, you do not get any second chances, so I am working my butt off to make sure they stay away from me. Sienna. Hi. What's in here? I'm making my lobster stock for my lobster bisque. Pressure cooker. Yep. You're cooking blind, you know. I know. Well, you know that's going to work. I'm just hoping and praying. Hoping and praying. <laughs> All right, well. Good luck. <sighs> If uh, one of those three gentlemen up there came and tapped me on the shoulder, it would be an extremely big disappointment. Peter, how are, what you? are you working on? I'm working on beef wellington. How do you plan to elevate a good old classic dish like beef wellington? Instead of the mushroom, uh, I use chestnuts. And, and the cook on the wellington is going to be what? Uh, medium rare. You'd better nail it. Thank you very much, sir. Good luck. I quit drinking and smoking a couple years ago, and I have all this time in my hands, and cooking just seems to make it all that much easier. You have five more minutes left. Keep them moving. You can feel the tension. You can feel the pressure mounting on them. Oh, here come the shakies. Everybody's cooking for the life. Work with speed. Handle the pressure. Down to the wire. You have one more minute left. Come on, one minute. No, 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 no. I feel like I have achieved a small step in the right direction to then get me to that point where I'm up there with a white apron. I think it's beautiful, I think it's earthy, and I think they'll be able to taste all of the portobello through my entire dish. It's uh, unique and it's got some heat and lots of flavors. Feeling like this is a $100,000 dish. Nice job, everyone, and under a lot of pressure. Now we need to taste your dishes and make some life-changing decisions. It's a pretty amazing feeling to see these cooking icons coming up to my station to try my food. Michael, can you tell us what your signature ingredient was? My signature ingredient was rack of lamb. My mother's family is from Egypt, so a lot of those Middle Eastern Moroccan spiced flavors remind me of my Nana's kitchen growing up. It's a pretty sophisticated lamb dish for a fire station. I love the flavors that you've incorporated into this dish. The mix of spices work incredibly well with the lamb. The presentation just feels a little old hat, a little dated. So Jen, tell me about the signature ingredient that you chose to use today. Eggs. I've actually never seen an Eggs Benedict quite like this. It looks beautiful. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna see that liquid center when I cut into this egg. Yes, chef. Oh, yeah. You nailed it. Thank That's you, That's incredible. Chef. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. I feel confident my egg was perfect. Nadia. Hi, chef. What ingredient did you bring? I brought the portobello mushroom. OK, so let's give it a taste. You know? I love the texture combination. It's well balanced. The only problem is I'm not getting a lot of portobello. That's a shame. Claudia. My signature dish is Peruvian ceviche. And ceviche is probably my favorite food. How many times have you eaten ceviche? A million times, chef. Is it ever raw like that in the middle? No, chef. Hmm. Reem, 
I used uh, eggplants and then I did the charcoal beef. Please be good, please. There's a, a lot going on in this plate, a lot of technique, but I find the baba ganoush too garlicky, too pungent. The charcoal, it's a beautiful, innovative touch, and I like innovation. It's really hard to impress your father, and he was impressed, so, like, there's hope. All right, Kagan, what was your signature ingredients? Duck breast. It's a nice presentation. Very, very colorful. What's that? Cheese, right? Cheese? No, those are uh, little strands of uh, lemon zest. No, there's cheese in that. Is there cream in there? Is there oh, sorry, there's mozzarella cheese, mozzarella yeah. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to test the demon chef? No, you know your stuff, definitely. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's cooked nicely. The seasoning is right on. But I think there's a little bit too much cheese. OK. Remind me of your signature ingredient, Becky. Uh, beetroot. It has a monochromatic look that feels modern. And how did you wish to cook the tenderloin? Medium rare, hopefully. Very nice. The beets, you have respected and elevated their flavors. Seasoned well, but... Becky, we have a problem here. The problem is that there's one less apron to fight for. This is your express pass to the top 12. I'm so excited to get away. Good job, Becky! Way to go, Becky! I'm the youngest person ever to get a white apron. It's crazy. <laughs> My parents are going to be so proud. Way to go back! Atta girl! Now the judges continue to taste the home cook's dishes to see who else might join Becky in the top 12. Michael, and you made a sausage in one hour. We decided to take the capicolo cut because it has the best marbling of uh, meat to fat. The sausage is sensational. Wow, thank you. I mean, it, it tastes like it came from a butcher shop. <laughs> Leila! Uh, my signature ingredient is apples. The plating has a fairly intriguing look. I kind of wanted to capture the flavor of Nova Scotia apples. Well, I'm not getting much. Melissa. My signature ingredient was red wine. The steak with the purees works really well. I see some potential there. Nikita. My ingredient was tofu. I taste vanilla, but the rest of the spices, it's not quite there. Mike. My signature ingredient is wild boar. This dish brings me back to Tuscany. I was there on my honeymoon. You got the wild boar on this side, a uh, Tuscan salad on the other side. They're not coming together. Marissa, can you tell me about your special ingredient? Special ingredient today was filet mignon pan seared and then oven roasted. Cooked to a medium rare, nicely seared but more of a sauce could just enhance this dish, just finish it off. Always work to improve on. I like that attitude. Thank you, Chef. I see the judges walking towards me, and all I am thinking is, don't cry, don't cry, <laughs> don't pass out. Sienna? Hi. You're looking very nervous. Tell me about your dish. I made a lobster bisque. I made my own stock, and made a roux, and we made it with love. And sorry, I'm trying not to be the first person to pee on national TV. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sienna, it has a richness to it that I almost expect with a lobster beast. But for me, I would look for something that has a little bit of a garnish, that maybe has a little crunch to it, a little adding some texture to it. I'm very proud of what I'm going to be presenting to the judges. It comes from my home country, from Trinidad, so I'm very excited for them to try it. Jonathan, what was the signature ingredient? Ghost peppers. Ghost pepper? Yeah. I don't see any sweat coming from the forehead. <laughs> Jonathan? Yeah. Wow. Taste is okay. amazing. <laughs> I get that very sharp heat from the ghost pepper. Right. But it's being neutralized by the sweetness of the sauce. Right. Very balanced dish. A flavor like this deserves. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Jonathan, head on up to the gallery. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. I got a white apron. <laughs> That's incredible. I'm already I advanced to the top 12 right away. That's huge. Good job. Good job. Thanks, guys. 
Peter? My signature ingredient was beef tenderloin, and I made Biker's Basil Beef Wellington out of it. <laughs> Biker's Basil Beef Wellington. And the sauce is? A brown mushroom gravy. Very nice cook on the Wellington. Peter, I love the idea of a beef Wellington that is reinvented. I find the sauce to be lacking as the support player in this particular dish. Thank you, I appreciate that. Andy, chefs. My signature dish is seared scallops. It's all about being in Nova Scotia in the summertime, being able to be on uh, the Bay of Fundy while that tide is way out. You can come across little pools where it could be filled with seaweed, it could have crabs, and sometimes if you're lucky, there'll be, be scallops in there. The scallops are incredible. Thank you, chef. And you wanted to tell a story with your dish, right? That's right. And here's the next chapter. Chef. I can't believe it. Final 12. I've been cooking for a long time, and to have Chef Claudio tell me that this is a delicious dish, it's just ultimate validation. 